should I work or should I not work? Should I do an internship? How many months should I work for? And whether it will impact my chance or not? I'm sure that a lot of you have thought of these questions at some point of time. So in today's video, we are going to demystify the entire work experience puzzle for you. We are going to look at it from four angles. The duration, the eligibility, the weightages, and the advantages of work experience. So let's get started. Let's first start with eligibility. The CAT does not specify that you need to have any mandatory work experience as such, which means that you could be a complete fresher, that is the term that we typically use to refer to people without any work experience, or you could have anywhere between one, two, three, or even higher work experience. There's no mandatory requirement as such, which means that you can take the CAT without having any work experience. When you fill the CAT form, you're supposed to enter your work experience as on July 31st. So that is something that you need to keep in mind. Also, full-time paid work experience after graduation is something that is counted as work experience. So if you have done any pre-graduation work ex or any internships, any articleship that you might have done, which is a mandatory requirement for your course, that is not going to count as work experience. Now let's talk about the weightage of work experience. If you look at the old IMs, IMA for example gives 5% weightage to work X. IM Bangalore gives 8%, K gives 5% and Lucknow gives 10%. If you look at other IMs as well, you will see that none of them give more than 10% weightage to work experience. And because this weightage is very limited, you can always compensate for it through a higher CAT score. So let's say you are somebody who does not have work X or very limited work experience. You are going to get very limited score there. But if you get a higher CAT score, you will be able to compensate for it. The third thing that we are going to talk about is the duration of the work experience. As I mentioned previously, only full-time paid work experience after graduation is counted as work experience. If you look at IMA, they don't give any marks if you have less than 12 months of work experience and it starts increasing till you reach 36 months at which it is going to peak. Beyond 36 months, you're not going to get any added advantage of having a higher work experience. If you look at IMC for example, IMC does not give anything for under 12 months and it actually gives you a penalty for having higher work X. So if you have more than 36 months of experience, you will see that the score that you are going to get actually starts going down. The same is true for IM COI code as well. No weightage if you have less than 6 months of work experience. But the moment you cross 36 months, you are going to get lower marks for every additional months of work experience. So there are Two takeaways from this. One is if you have less than six months of full-time work ex after graduation, you are not going to get marks anywhere. And if you have more than 36 months of experience, in a lot of cases, you are not going to get any additional advantage. And in some cases, especially I am Calcutta and Koi code, you are actually going to get a penalty. And lastly, let's talk about the advantages of work ex. Having discussed everything that we have discussed so far, some of you might be thinking, then why should I even bother? But understand that you are preparing for an MBA. If you have work experience, it is always going to help you because it exposes you to the corporate sector before you start your MBA. The perspectives that you get, the people that you meet and the work that you do is always going to be beneficial to make a very strong case as to why do you need to do an MBA. And that is why work experience is important. So if you have work X, it's always going to be a good thing. But even if you don't have it, it's still fine you can try to figure out what are the things that you can do with the time that you have to improve your profile. So to summarize what we discussed in this video, the work experience is important. It definitely matters at a lot of places and the weightages of work experience are very limited. Only full-time paid work experience after graduation is counted as work experience and any articleship, internship that you might have done, they are not going to be counted as work ex. Different IMs look at work experience very differently. The weightages are not that significant and that is why even if you don't have work X, you will be able to compensate for it through a high CAT score. And lastly, if you have work experience, it will help you to make a very strong case as to why do you want to do an MBA and your interview will be different compared to somebody who does not have work experience. I'm sure now that you know the intricacies of the entire work experience puzzle, you will be able to figure out the course of action for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. In case you are not subscribed to the channel, please do it. I'll see you guys in the next one.